Hi everyone, today we have the DJ Agars T50 sprayer drone here. Uh, we are going to show you what is inside the box of the DJ Agars T50. I already know that there is the remote controller and the battery cooling kit, but we're going to see them. I know the battery cooling kit will look a little bit different and uh, the DJ Agars T50 had some improvements that when we take it out of the box, you will be able to visually see some of them and we are going to over them and explain them so uh, alexis if you can help me to pick it up well not pick it up just lift the box One, two. all right so we do have the dj agus t50 drone that is fully assembled i uh, will open one of these Foams, not foams, wraps. Right off the bat, you can see the propellers are white. It uses uh, the same propellers as the T40. Okay, you can put it there. It uses the same propellers as the T40. However, DJI, uh, based on uh, the feedback they got, they added this special white paint on them to avoid uh, the propellers from heating up and bending while uh, the drone is flying. So uh, let's see what else is inside of the, the box. This is the battery cooling kit for the T50 slash T40 batteries because as you know, the T50 uses the same batteries as the T40. So you can actually use the same uh, battery cooling kit for the batteries as well. However, the battery cooling kit that comes with the drone is different and it's fully assembled. Uh, the T40 battery cooling kit had a lot of screws that you had to assemble it and you could make mistake or they could loose, uh, loosen up after a while. But this is a sturdy design that they created for a T50 battery cooling kit. You can See, it has two fans here and the same connector and also it's going to hold your charging cable here. If you are using the generator, DJI generator, it already has a plug for turning on the, the fans. However, if you have the T30 or C8000 charger, you will need to get the generator's extension cord plus the adapter to power on the fans. So this is about the battery cooling kit. Right here we have a similar controller box to the T40. I'll put it here. So the controller is uh, the same. It comes with the, the lanyard to put it around your neck while you're spraying. There are some extra accessories and tools for, th usually these type of like Allen wrenches, they uh, open majority of the screws on the drone. But here, let's open up the remote controller. So yeah, it looks uh, similar to the T40 remote controller. However, it has a different antenna system. So you won't be able to use a T40 remote controller with the T50, although they look identical. And this is the compartment for the external battery. And here with opening these two screws, you can put the dongle that comes with the drone. Uh, it's in this bag and uh, you will you can put a sim card on it and put the dongle connected to the remote controller then use the data of the sim card for having a better resolution map or logging into your account so you basically can have internet and uh, yeah just this is the right way to have your antennas 
And other than that, I would say I will look around to see what else is new on this drone. Put this here. So we have the drone unfolded here. Every time they release a new drone, it excites me. It's great to see new features. Not only that, the small improvements that DJI makes on these drones. Um, so here we can see that the motors are um, the same as T40. If you look at the number, it's the same. The ESCs are bigger. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are uh, better by any means, but because they are thinner and bigger, they have more surface for releasing the heat. Uh, I would say that's one of the, uh, the reasons that they made uh, this change on the ESC design, but I'm not sure about that. And uh, the propellers, this white, as you know, black absorbs more heat when you're in the sunlight. And a lot of our customers, they spray all day long. And if these absorb uh, the sunlight and heat up, uh, the resin inside the carbon fiber might let the propellers to bend slightly. And this helps uh, avoiding that. So on the front of the drone, we can see that we have two binocular vision sensors. Before there used to be only this one, that they would use it for uh, obstacle uh, bypassing and also train falling. It wasn't ideal. Now that there are two sets, when the drone tilts forward or backward, you have the option because these are cameras, basically your drone will be able to see even if it's tilting down because these will, will be pointing forward. Uh, stronger LEDs we have here, a different design on the camera that probably is more uh, like sturdier. I don't exactly know what is the reason that they changed it, but uh, because we didn't have much problem with the FPV cameras on the T40, but I'm sure they made it better. These are the antennas for the T50. There are two of them here, and there are two more at the back of the drone, which helps you have a, a not longer range because uh, FCC, and if you're in Europe, uh, it basically, I think it's called EC or something like that, that certification, they don't allow the drones to go too far, so they actually limit the range. But having four antennas, will help you have better connectivity. So there are two screws at this top here. They made such a great design here when you want to check your cables and power distribution board. Uh, I love this design. And uh, here is the power distribution board. The connectors look much uh, sturdier if you want to disconnect something. And uh, yeah, you can look and yeah, it's, mu it's much, I would say T40 was good, but you have better access to it now. It, for the T40, you have to go at the bottom, but right now you just open it, you can disconnect the cable. That these two go, for example, to, uh, they provide battery power to um, one of the motors, most likely. We get into that later. Here, these are the two antennas that I was mentioning that it has four antennas. So basically it has two more antennas in comparison with the T40. And again, beautiful design on this. Kudos uh, uh, to DJI's engineers. So we go to the front of the, oh, well, before we go to the front, I saw the cameraman because Misael is our technical support person that's taking the video and I saw he's not moving. This is the reason. So this is one of the main improvements on the T50. T40 used to have uh, some issues uh, following the train properly. They made some improvement on the T40 by releasing a new firmware, but this, up, uh, this omnidirectional uh, LiDAR will improve the train following feature by a lot uh, because uh, there is a sensor, a LiDAR sensor inside of this uh, cylindrical uh, shaped box that is at all time turning and gives real time data to the drone that how far away from the ground or above uh, the, uh, the tip of the vegetation it is. So this is, I would say, one of the main differences between the T50 and T40. 
but uh, now that we are at the back again we have these uh, centrifugal nozzles they made some improvements it looks sturdier number one number two they added solenoid valves to it to avoid leaking so if you have a t t40 or you had uh, you saw one in person every now and then you would see that there could be a little bit of leak here we have a solution for that and we uploaded a video for that one however uh, on the t50 they uh, figured that out by adding a solenoid valve also you can see you can see the holes outside of the uh, the frame of the centrifugal nozzle so the chemical when it goes through if there is an issue or a clogging you will be able to visually see that this is the spinner disc similar to the t40 it spins and creates the droplet size that you need you can control the droplet size uh, size of your uh, basically the droplet size while you're spraying based on the speed of this spinner you just say how many micrometers you want to spray uh, how many micrometers you want your droplet size to be and the drone knows at what speed it should spin this and it spins very fast like i think at highest about 14,000 rpm let's get close to these uh, connectors here uh, if so this right here you see like this is the part that when you fold your drone uh, this part of the arm goes inside this uh, piece and uh, on the first version of T40 this wasn't there and it could make the arm a little worn but now that we have this piece here we don't have that issue if you want so you can come on this side and we can talk about this new locking system so this is how you lock your arm you just press this now they added this extra uh, safety feature that you can't just pull it and unlock the arm you need to press this and then unlock it this uh, is an additional again safety feature that helps you avoid mistakes and unlocking your arm before taking off by mistake so the back of the drone I would say now that we're here again you see on the connector where the arm connects to the uh, to the frame of the drone on the arm itself you can see which arm it is this is for example M4 it's arm 4 and then it says M4 is the top motor and M8 is the bottom motor that is assembled on this arm and the CW says that this motor turns clockwise the bottom motor turns counterclockwise so if you want to change the propeller on for example motor 4 you need to make sure you will put uh, basically uh, clockwise um, propellers and it has to be upper clockwise because this is the upper motor so let's go oh look at this this part is very interesting to the new design they added to protect the cables and the hoses that go to the arms it looks uh, pretty interesting it makes it more look like a robot but let's go to the front of the drone the size of this is more than twice the size of the obstacle avoidance radar on the T40 I'm not just saying like because it's bigger it doesn't mean it's better but in this era if they could make something smaller and they could fit all the features in that small radar they would do it and the fact that it's bigger it means they added new uh, modules inside of it and that's why it's bigger I can't go to the detail of that I need to do more research and open one one of these days but we open these two screws to show you the front two similar to the back you can just open this you will easily replace or disconnect your LEDs and similar these are the cables that they are going to this arm you can disconnect that disconnect this and so on here 
we have usually this is where if you open it there will be a USB-C and you can connect it to your computer if you want to use the DJI Assistant 2 for MG and uh, this is the cable distribution board you can see again easy access to change things and yep we will close that I think we're good on uh, this video and we will make more videos flying the drone and testing the new features they added to the software of the drone. Thank you for watching.